Hello and welcome to the I Create Daily Podcast. I'm Leora Alderson. And I'm Devani Alderson. We are the mother-daughter co-founders of the I Create Daily brand. We are passionate about encouraging positivity, creativity, and productivity while bringing you information and resources that support your creative aspirations. I Create Daily is for creators in every genre of creating, from musicians to writers, crafters to inventors, bloggers to entrepreneurs. So if you're into creating anything, this podcast has something for you. So tell us, what would support you most in your journey? You can reach us at creator at iCreateDaily.com. Thank Thank you you for for joining joining us us on on this journey. journey. Hello and welcome to the I Create Daily podcast conversations for kindling creativity for anyone in the pursuit of a creative life. This is a coffee break and I'm Devani. And I'm Leora. And the reason I slightly stumbled through that intro is because... Because it's new. So if you've been listening before, then you will know that our uh, usual slogan has been, uh, I Create Daily Podcast, a movement for creators serious about their work. And we've been doing some serious masterminding and work, (laughs) work, planning and strategizing um, as we tend to do throughout the year. But in particular, as we're coming down the last stretch, last half of this year, planning for the next quarter, um, as well as the future is the the year after that. how it is that our brand is going to grow and evolve. And so like, like us, you know, it's evolving daily. We're evolving daily. Um, our goals, it feels like, so like, what is that? Like, okay. So for people int- tuning into this, uh, if you're interested in seeing, hearing some examples of our goals and plans for I create daily, how we're expanding this brand, what our visions are for it, that will um, increase, encompass opportunities increasingly encompass opportunities for creatives to collaborate with us then keep on tuning in uh, if you're looking for like actionable tips uh, or conversations with other creators and that's not what this is this is um, basically Devani and I sharing out loud some of our visioning process that it's still a work in progress it is not clear and concise notes as much as we would like to, for it to have been before starting this but like many of the things we do we're big fans of taking ready fire aim. ready fire <laughs> aim and taking lot massive action uh, and quickly so um, seizing the moment of momentum and so while we were masterminding and brainstorming we decided we should just go ahead and capture this to share with you guys what it is that we're working on and how it is that that may affect you as well so yeah. okay do you have anything else to add to that before we well so one of the things we've been working on is has been defining what our brand means to somebody engaging with I Create Daily. And to do that, we kind of had to get more clear on what we were bringing to the table with I Create Daily. You know, we've done challenges. If you've been sort of part of our Facebook group and podcast listening and content and websites, we've done art challenges, we've created journals, we've done interviews, we have loads of content on our site, we're constantly encouraging on social media, but we needed a way to figure out who are we talking to, who are we speaking with, who are we having a conversation with in our community, and who is it for? What is I Create Daily for? And we lo- for a long time, we really loved um, a movement for creators serious about their art, and then it morphed to a movement of creators serious about their work. And then we were like, well, what does that mean? What is serious about work? What is serious about art? What does that look like? How is that defined? And yeah. I think we each define serious about art and work in different ways according to our lifestyles so even though we still enjoy that slogan it didn't encompass and it didn't focus in on who we serve and what we're about and and part of the reason for that is um you know this is like so often we say it is in the journey that the way becomes more clear and we keep saying that and re-quoting that because it is so true and it's so important for anyone creating anything to realize that you do not have to have it all figured out and in fact the best way to figure it out is to get started get on the journey yeah. again like the journey of planning a trip you know you know your end destination your goal approximately where you would like to arrive and you head in that direction um, chase jarvis of creative live i was listening to him last saturday and he said um 
the only way you can get answers in creative work is by doing it, yeah. is by starting. Yeah. It was something like that. I, I, I'm not sure if I said it word for word, but just the concept that you gain clarity in creativity in the doing, in and the yeah. committing. And so I'm, our creator audience and creative audience will totally be able to relate to that because if you're an artist and you want to paint a flower, then you may have an idea of the of what you want to paint that morphs to what kind of flower and then how many flowers and then all those little details which colors to use which colors you know if you're painting plumeria well there are different colors of plumeria you could paint you mm -hmm. could paint you know the, a few flowers in a cluster you could paint the whole tree you could paint it in the setting of uh, you know a hawaiian beach or sunset or whatever it may be tropical so and i think that concept is applied to so many areas in life people well, exactly. start on their life and they might have ideas and inklings and maybe they have a solid plan some of us do some of us have like we know the plan but then life happens and you're like oh well this could be improved that could be improved maybe i'm switching lanes maybe i'm going a different direction now yeah. and i think i create daily is really about helping people discover a creative life being in pursuit of a creative life whatever that looks like for you and just remembering that create bringing that creative spirit into every day into everything you're doing right and so back to the concept of of us changing our slogan uh, which has been an evolution as well so we originally started I Create Daily because we are creative, we're creators, we're writers ourselves. That's our primary mode of creative art uh, is writing. Um, and, and our core, our three core um, uh, words, words <laughs> but, but well, there's a term like the, what, what is like- Slogan, slogan. Well, it's a slogan. It's really like slogan. values. That's what values. I was looking for. Values are creation, connection, and contribution. And so that's create, connect, contribute. So we create through the writing and the products we create that we bring you know, in the world, into the world that we write, etc. We connect with other creators uh, through helping them, supporting them through the podcast, through the communities that we were building. And we contribute in that same way by the time and energy that we put into cheering you on. Um, you know, we've been doing this podcast for two years now. And for people who are new to podcasts or not sure how they work, it takes at least that before you can even begin to monetize in some way through sponsors or through sales of your own products, the time and effort. And the thing Especially is- Especially if you're in a broad niche like, like we are, we're in the creativity niche was just right. huge. If you're in a much smaller niche, it might be a quicker growth just because you can grow quicker. There's not as much competition. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, so the part of the thing was we're like, okay, so what does that mean? Like we enjoy serving and contributing and creating. Uh, we enjoy connecting with other creators. So, you know, like, but what does that mean for the audience, you know, and who is our audience? And so we thought uh, the other part of it, and this actually is part of what precipitated the, the, the real thing that precipitated the I create daily brand is a passion for helping creators monetize their creative yes. passions, their art, their work, and to be able to get uh, uh, substantially rewarded for the time and energy you pour into art and work and creation. And we happened upon that journey, if you've heard in other episodes, this will just be a really brief summary, through the creation of our own products and like any author, new author discovers or product creator or business owner discovers, you don't create it and then they come. Mm -hmm. You create it and then you have to stand out there day after yeah. day, you know, with a billboard trying to find ways to let people know about it, to let the people who would be interested in what you have to offer find you uh, so that they can then, you know, show you they're, they're, uh, that they're with you, that they're for you, that they like what you're doing in the purchases they make uh, and th the fact of them following you. So, so it's like, it was the realization that creators really need uh, support in getting their work out into the world. So ours came originally from that perspective. What we've discovered, which is why we had the moniker or the slogan of for creators serious about their art, because anyone can be an artist and into art and 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 um, not and, and it could be a hobby mm -hmm. rather than like, OK, I'm in it to make money. In fact, many in our audience are of that ilk. And but again, that was our perspective. So that's why we had serious about your art. And then we change it to work because for us, art is whatever creative endeavor, but it made, sound, made it sound like it was just visual artists. And so we change it to work to you know, to symbolize the, the concept of getting serious about becoming professional in the art that you're doing. But yeah. then and so when we created the I Create Daily Journal, what we've been discovering is 
Uh, and it's really interesting. We, we've never talked, spoken about this out loud. I don't even, we haven't even exactly. Always with the podcast. Right, right. But we haven't even like articulated this as much, I think, on our own yet. And that is the concept that what we've just, see, create, connect, and contribute is our core for I Create Daily. But what is under, and, and for us personally, Devani has that per, personally as part of her aspirations, as do I. So it really fits. There's a nice triangle of the brand and us individually, as well as the family. But even under that, what is really in our hearts to do is to help others discover, unleash, and magnify their own incredible potential. You know, when to help people awaken and enlighten and you know, come more fully into their own potential and power, incredible power that comes from becoming more fully who you are capable of becoming. That is really at the core of our hearts. I know it has been the core of me and who I am and all that I've ever wanted to do. And so interestingly, what we've discovered is that, so, so happenstance, we ended up creating a goals journal to serve an audience. So the very first challenge that we created is we, we used first, somebody else's journal. Hey, we used somebody else's journal. And, and it was a beautiful journal. And we were so excited because, you know, it was a fun idea. We didn't think we needed to create a journal. We're like, there's tons of journals out. Psst. Some, one of them has got to work. Yeah. So we picked one and it was somebody we love following and, and we love their brand still, but the feedback we got was, and you might've heard this before, but the feedback we got was this doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah. this, this format just does not, it does not help me. It's too, it's too rigid. It's not flexible enough. It's, it's, and, and, you know, as creatives, we don't love rigidity. Is yeah. that a word? Yeah. That's a word. Okay. Yeah. That's a word. Um, we don't love that. We don't love too much structure and we tend to like being able to be in control of the structure we yeah have that we so that so that we're in charge of what our routine and what our habits and what our flow looks like um not following and following into somebody else's structure so long story short that is why we created the 90 day goals journal and planner is because we wanted a system that really helped people decide on their goal and that was the biggest thing too people seem to know how to get going once they made a decision on their goals and the hang up was deciding what to focus on. And so that's why we created a 90 day goals journal and planner to really hone in on the decision of the goal and then to have a really simple structure each day to implement those goals you decided on. And you know, that, that's flexible with anything else you're doing and using. And typically <laughs> for us, um, it's like, oh, well, we'll just create our own journal. That's not, <laughs> that's not that big of a deal, right? You know, we like to create. We Same like as last words. Yeah, it's so. like the creator version of hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, that can't possibly be too hard to make, can it? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, and part of the rationale was we can spend a lot of time and money buying other people's journals out there and evaluate, trying them and evaluating them in order to recommend them to our creator um, crowd. Or we can just take that same time and invest it in creating our own products that then become an asset, yeah. which is the route we took. We, we aren't um, like, so our brand is becoming very, uh, very focused on goals, journals, and setting goals because it works and <laughs> so important. And also on art journals, because then the next natural thing is that was fun. We're creators, we're writers, we're ideators. Let's create the next thing. And so then we created the I Art Daily Art Journal. No, we did the gratitude Sorry, journal. Sorry, the gratitude first. journal was next. That's right. A little in between another 90 day gratitude journal. And then we created, it's like, okay, well, but we have a lot of artists. We should create an art journal. Yeah. Um, and so, anyway, that's this is not like supposed to be it's part of our journey we're sharing it's not intended to be a commercial for the products although we will link them in the show notes um, but so so here's the thing what we since our now that we're selling these on Amazon have been for a while what we started noticing is that many of our customers for the journals especially the goals journals well actually the art journals as well uh, weren't even necessarily already creatives they didn't necessarily want to become a professional artist what it is they did want is more meaning, purpose, 
and creativity in their lives. Many of them were, um, are already like established in their profession. Maybe they're in their 40s and 50s and give or take 10 years on either side of that, but the bulk of them are in their 40s and 50s and established, stable in their jobs, and maybe the kids are going to college or have left home already. And they're now, really sorry, go ahead. And, and now it's like, okay, now I have some me time. And am I fulfilled? And what would make me more fulfilled? And so we started realizing that a lot of our audience are not necessarily in interested now or even ever in monetizing through their art. They just want more creativity. And then we realized that I mean, that really, it's almost like what's so cool about this, I'm going to try and articulate it because it's, it's a bit, still a bit of an intangible. What we thought was our primary mission and purpose was to serve creatives is really what's underneath that that we kind of leapfrog back to is was at the core of our original um like my sole reason for this lifetime i think and that is to help people get more in touch with their own creative soul you know okay. with the creativity within their soul that they are capable of which is always but vastly more than we could ever imagine and to begin to unpack that and open and remove all those layers of shading that have occurred by by following and ticking off all the boxes in life yeah. go to school do what you're told go to college get a good job have kids get married have kids etc and all those things which many of which are rewarding you know most of which hopefully are rewarding but and then there's more. And as humans, our, as any growing entity, living entity, it is about growing more fully into all that we can be every day of our lives. It's like growth is about becoming more fully human, more, more fully spiritual and integrating those two. And so that's part of what people are finding and seeking in creativity is a greater connection, even with their spiritual mm -hmm. self. You know, as Julia Cameron says of, um, the um the artist way um fame that's her that's her brand name right yeah. the artist way by julia cameron she has some quotes and i'm just gonna paraphrase them but along the, and we'll put the actual quotes in the show notes but along the lines of creativity is akin to godliness it is you know basically our spiritual connection um it is a direct connection with our spiritual selves and even with if we're spiritual or religious with essentially our creator. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we uh, changed our slogan because our role is kindling creativity through conversation, through connection, through our own creativity. We're helping kindle other people's creativity and we serve people in the pursuit of a creative life and the creative life just entails that you're living your life, but you have creative elements. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's your profession. Maybe you just want the me time, like you mentioned, the time for yourself. And, and the creativity can come in so many forms, like whether it's visual arts, written art, musical art, you know, cine cinematography, it could be food, it could be, it could be yoga, it could be anything, but the pursuit of a creative life is what we're helping people unleash no matter where they are in their journey professionally or personally. Yeah. And so, and because that is the artist role in the world, mm -hmm. it is to help inspire others. We've done an article on this and it's the concept that when it is we're inspired by viewing beautiful things, beautiful, beautiful performances, by creating something beautiful ourselves. What does that do? It is the antithesis of the negative media. It is the antithesis of the fear mongering. It is the antithesis of, of worry, fear, and doubt. It is that which helps to open our hearts and open our minds and leave us in a more elevated state. And when we approach the world and our day in a more elevated state, that automatically elevates all in our own environment, our in our environment. And when we elevate those in our environment, they go on to do the same thing for others mm -hmm. as well. And it's so interesting. I was thinking about this earlier that um, uh, after the medieval times or the dark ages, there was this renaissance and it was led by artists and it was the human spirit again, looping back to art is the reason creativity 
being uh, finding the beauty in what we make what we create how we live our lives and we've come again full circle to that is i'd say our our middle ages in this era has been a little a little less dramatic but it's the same uh, our version of it has been like the routine the monotony the corporate the the feeling caged in and uh, like <sighs> like our caste system has been education and corporate and corporate you know like that's where we're locked into and this renaissance is like no but we're all creators we're all creative we can all bring creativity we can all bring art to what we're doing in different ways and i think we're seeing that in every industry people are innovating like never before yeah. in every industry it's just being blown open with creativity. Yeah, and the concept of the corporate um, mentality that's, again, has served its purpose in stabilizing our lives, in stabilizing our economy, um, and giving people you know, so many opportunities in life, um, but it often is not creative. And yet that is one of the roles that many creators will be able to play and that and already are there are examples of those out there i'm not bringing any well eric wall is an art we interviewed um his wife for our podcast tanya is that tasha. tasha sorry tasha wall and he is an artist that specializes in inspiring corporate audiences through creativity and he and his wife run the business together yes tasha and that is just the beginning of of opportunities for artists and creators in corporate world another because sorry sorry just one because the corporations are beginning to recognize that status quo no longer serves mm -hmm. and that their people need that when their people are awakened and free to be more creative they produce more and the work excels yeah another one would be scott belsky um He's created a lot of platforms serving creators, and now he works with Adobe and I'm sure other corporations to sort of merge artists and corporate opportunities together, help creators in the freelance marketplace find areas and outlets that actually pay them for their work. Yes, and that the opportunities and the need, the need there is vast, yeah. as are the opportunities, many of which are even as yet untapped as to what's possible and what's needed. Um, so you don't have to like start out thinking, well, I'm in corporate and I'm an artist, how can I bring these two together? For instance, that's just one example of infinite numbers. Uh, but if that is you, then you can begin to, rec so what, what's important is to begin the creative conversations with your, yourself and then your friends and family and peers about how it, if you're in a job still um, nine to five or whatever the hours you're and it's not one you love but it's one that you do and that serves you well with providing a good living uh, what you can begin doing is start asking yourself how can I make this task more creative and we, we recently heard um, the, where is it the routine oh this is Daniel, Dan, Pink. Daniel Pink one of our favorite hero authors he's a hero of an author for creatives is Daniel Pink author of a whole new mind and he's back in 2006 I think when his book 2004 was, 2004 when his book was published he was like a visionary seer like of the future with about talking about the role of creatives in the world today and in particular you know the in north america the opportunities for the how it is that so much is being outsourced but those things that are being outsourced are routine and left brain and that what is needed now are those who are creative more functioning from the right brain or the radial intelligence as we like to call it um to able to synthesize the two sides able to synthesize bringing this to commerce, bringing it to business, uh, systematizing, creating courses, that's kind of all left brain stuff, but in creative ways that blend together and serve larger audiences increasingly. So that book we'll link in the show notes. It's, it's a must read for creators, for anyone interested in creating anything really, um, and beginning to sort out your own creative um, energies and potential and possibility. So begin asking that, your yourself those questions having that conversation with yourself about how can i make this moment more creative um 
and and you will begin the more you ask that question it becomes a mantra how can this be more creative how can i make this more creative the more you will be making a longer and longer list of possibilities that you will then bring you know like from washing the dishes to folding the clothes to working on this form at work or with taxes or whatever it may be um just even if it's so mon something so mundane that you and you can't not do that thing to have some music on that inspires you. If you are able to do that with headphones, I guarantee you, you're going to pick or a podcast. Well, if you're working on something that requires your focus, then which you know of any kind of attention, then music would be better than a distracting voice. I think, and if if music turns you on, if yeah. music you know inspires you, find what music inspires you, and you will find yourself picking up speed in your endeavors and able to get the routine done with more inspiration. Um, so, so yes. So the, the new slogan then is I create daily podcast conversations for kindling creativity for anyone in pursuit of the creative life. And for I create daily.com, it is kindling creativity for anyone in pursuit of the creative life. So that's who we are. That's who we're for. And we'd love to hear from you, your thoughts um, on the evolution of our brand. And in particular, we'd love to hear from you about what's important to you, what you need help with, and what you're thinking of right now relative to your own life and creativity and where you'd like to take it. Um, even, if, even if that answer is that you're not sure, um, we'd love to hear from you. And in fact, we'd love to hop on a call with you. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to just share with us and or have a conversation, we'd love to begin to tap more into how it is, what it is that we can bring more to you to help you in your journey of opening up and giving the platform to your own incredible creativity. Oh, speaking of that. Um, before you change subjects, just remember we published an email this morning um, talking about fear and the things that stop people from creating or taking that leap of faith. Just remember that not being sure is one of the most perfect launch pads for you. Ah, good. Wise, wise, wisely said. I was going to say hashtag wisdom and it's like, okay, wise. <laughs> hashtag <laughs> wisely said. I'll take it. <laughs> right. Okay. Fantastic. So along the lines of our evolving brand and our aspirations to elevate others, and in particular creators right now, those who are consciously creating, and in particular creating the life you want to live, so that's so important and central to our brand because it is possible and only you can do it. And how is it done? Daily. So the day is the way to create the life you want to live one day at a time. But along those lines of uh, platforms that we started closing with, uh, so our, our aspiration is to become, uh, so we are really growing this I Create Daily brand and our visions for it are so huge that if we shared them now, you might think we're insane. So before, you know, because we probably shouldn't share it all right now, but it does involve us, our next thing, which we'll share about probably in our next coffee mm -hmm. break, uh, a network of podcasts. It involves um, multiple opportunities for creators to actually get their brands and their, their work published through us to be co-host to some of the podcasts that we create to of course be interviewed by us when it is, Oh, we forgot to shout out. Oh, we need ahead. to do a shout yeah. out. Oh, we got a wonderful email the other um, evening uh, from Audrey Jalving. Audrey Jalving. And I was wondering if we should use her author name. Oh, okay. Or, well, we'll start. Anyway, yeah. she knows who she is. Yeah. She's amazing. She joined our community in January for our very first, January 2019, for this year, as we're recording this, um, our very first art challenge that we did in January. She then joined our writer's challenge. She got a goals journal and she has finished her first book in her trilogy. And she, is, she has the book off with publishers right now. And she's working, she's already 10 chapters in on her second book. She's writing a trilogy. She's doing it with her daughter, which is so cool. And she emailed us about that. And we are super thrilled. Um, we can't wait to interview her and hopefully her daughter about that whole journey. Yeah. And we always loved getting like little email updates from her. Like I'm 20,000 words in, I'm 40,000 words in, you know, yeah. I've, I've edited five chapters. Like we just, uh, we love that yeah. so much. And we're just, we're really proud of 
everyone in our community doing things like that. Yeah. Uh, another person, Shannon Billings, she is well on her way to completing her first draft of her memoir. She is sharing the poetry, some of the really raw nitty gritty chapters, some of the softer chapters. And there's just so and she's many. she's moving also on her dreams of owning her own bee farm. Yes, honey farm, yes. Honey she just got trees. Best Honey in Central Alabama award, award recently. Right. And she's really proud of that. Yeah, and we've been, be, yeah. Yeah, we've Absolutely. been loving hearing from her and her homesteading dreams and her creative dreams. And, and we there have, are just so many stories so like many that. Stories and we'll find ways to share more of the stories, which is part of our goal yeah. uh, in the creating and expanding into a podcasting network so that we can share more stories and how, and which, ex, which also uh, exemplifies how creativity is pervasive across all platforms. So from fitness to yoga, to writers, artists, um, entrepreneurs, it's anyone creating anything. Um, and, and, but just like, we are all different, you know, as humans, we all have in common our own soul, that we each have a soul, um, a body of light, essentially, that, you know, is, is very much similar one to the other. Um, so same thing with creativity and creators. It is that spirit of creativity is very similar. And one of the things about it is that, of course, the more you tap into it, the more it grows and the more it shares with you and becomes a part of the, your life. Um, so yeah, we totally love shouting out um, your stories. We'll be doing increasingly more of that. Uh, it's part of what lights us up. And you know, like we, we share and shout it out through the house, through the office, wherever, you know, when we hear these notes and these messages. We so, talk about you guys all the time. Yeah, that's right. We talk about you all the time. We talk really good behind your back. Yeah. <laughs> We're right. that kind of friend. That kind of <laughs> so write to us at creators at iCreateDaily.com. And it would be awesome. If you like our show, um, well, hopefully, I mean, we'd love you to leave a review that's honest, that's that's your voice and your thoughts. On whatever platform that you one, listen to yeah. us on. Reviews really help a lot. So um, go and review it if you have a chance. It won't take you but maybe a minute or two. And um, yeah, write to us, creators at iCreateDaily.com. All Thank right. you. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for joining us for the I Create Daily podcast. Please let us know what creatives you would like us to interview and what topics you would be interested in hearing more about. And if you enjoyed this show, please leave a review on iTunes. We value your feedback. We read all the reviews and it just helps us get the word out on the I Create Daily podcast. Thank you so much. Thanks so much.